what's going on guys this is Aaron this channel is called Hotel Delta and if you can't tell from the beautiful view I'm on a brand new CVO CVO Road Glide to be exact and this is the whiskey neat color the expensive paint option got a few of these in and just doing the shakedown run on it so I obviously won't be jumping all over it nice and easy on the throttle on the brakes and as you can see there's our uh, sales associate Jay taking that beautiful one out for a spin very cool but that hadn't happened a whole lot with these bikes just coming out so yeah this is the 121 veritable valve timing Milwaukee 8 obviously the large screen new bodywork and when I get back to the shop I'll do a quick walk around for you guys again just a quick little shakedown run make sure nothing comes off of it make sure all the gears work properly check the fluids once the motor gets completely hot make sure everything's topped off man I am uh, digging the bar setup on this thing for a stock set of bars this is as comfortable as I have ever been on a road glide I might roll them just a hair more forward than where they're at right now but it's man it's comfortable so yeah Harley came out with this bike um, it's kind of flipped the bagger world on its head a little bit this the road glide version is 35 pounds lighter than the old road glide specials STs CVOs they've done that through a myriad of ways but uh, a little bit everywhere basically is, is the idea behind it and I tell you what as soon as you get on this bike and stand it up it's it is significantly lighter I was shocked whenever I found out it was only 35 pounds because it, it actually feels about double that honestly it feels like they took about 10% of the weight off the bike different shape to the bags different shape to the front fairing this bike is supposed to be significantly more aerodynamic the motor the 121 variable valve timing putting out a whopping 139 foot pounds at the crank that's pretty impressive out of a stock setup so obviously you know being regulated like we are the exhaust from factory is is quiet you can thank your you know EPA and DOT for those regulations but that's just part of what we have to do so yeah stock it's it's fairly quiet but we have already put a D&D &D on one of these and uh, man it really wakes it up and I would say more so than you know the old CVOs with the new setup the new variable valve timing it actually sounded like it was already cammed so very aggressive sound whenever you ditch the stock exhaust and do a full pipe on it so yeah it really just feels it feels like you're on a smaller bike it really does and not so much with like your wind protection or anything it's all just man the way it it leans over it is much more aggressive leaning over than the older bikes obviously with your dash much bigger dash display unfortunately getting a couple little sprinkles this bike hasn't been detailed out so it's it's not you know a big deal for it to get a little bit of dirt and debris because again this is all part of the setup process we have to get back get back to the shop in one piece obviously but uh once we get back we'll check the fluids in it make sure everything is topped off a new addition to these 121 motors is they are actually partially water cooled so you will see a larger radiator on the bottom it's got water cooled heads kind of like the limiteds and the ultras but they've kind of changed up the way that system even works it used to go from the front cylinder to the back cylinder it actually starts the opposite way it starts in the back cylinder and goes forward another change with that bigger radiator on bottom let's get on it a little bit here yeah it likes that a lot bigger radiator and it's kind of on the bottom of the bike and they put some 
some fl fans on that front radiator to pull the heat underneath the bike. The idea behind that is to keep it off the rider. So, new design there. Haven't ridden one of these enough to say, oh, the heat fans have kicked on. This is honestly the first time I've got to ride the bike. I got to pull one of the street glides in the back a little bit and do a couple figure eights on it. And immediately you could tell the, the weight difference. Balance is excellent. Much more nimble feel to this bike. And it's it becomes more intuitive. You think about leaning over like that turn right there, just like that. I didn't really think I was leaning yet. I was just thinking about leaning and the bike's already starting to lean over for me. So all six gears work. All right, Creature Comforts. Obviously it's a CVO, it's got all the good stuff. It's got, you know, cruise control. It's got the four speaker Rockford Fosgate kit already ready to go. Heated grips. They kind of changed up the way you turn on the heated grips. It's no longer the little dial over here. It's actually a push button. You push it and you see there at the bottom screen the indicator that heated grips are on. Three different settings, kind of like what's on the Pan America. Bluetooth enabled. I've got to mess with the screen a little bit, but not enough to know what I'm doing yet. But it's it's pretty cool. Menus kind of like what again is on the Pan America. Your your settings. Obviously, all the buttons are completely different. They've gone, they've gone to a little more. I, I wouldn't quite say metric style, but it it kind of is. They are backlit on the CVOs. Pretty cool feature to have if you like riding at night. All LED finally. Good call by Harley to finally go all LED on these motorcycles. But really the uh man the styling of it and in riding it my first reactions are way more aggressive which I, I like that term whenever you're talking about a motorcycle and when i say that i mean whenever you go to lean in it just does it quicker and faster you think about leaning and it starts to lean for you the bar is much more comfortable very stylish on the seat it's a cool bike for sure beautiful motorcycle you can see the different the different styling on the fascia new headlight integrated turn signals all LED wire wheels again the bigger motor they do this this great collection here front and back heated grips could look at all the controls yeah you would have to sit down in your in your shop plug that thing in so you can mess with the what all that thing can do it's it's very capable but I'm definitely gonna have to spend some time learning what all it can and can't do but it rides great if you ever get the chance to ride one I would suggest doing it again you can see uh, I talked about the the radiator so that's part of the water cooled head Bigger radiator and bottom fans. They relocated the horn. 121 cubic inch. More adjustment on the rear suspension. Four speaker Rockford Fosgate. Cool motorcycle. If you guys have any questions, hit me up below. Please like and subscribe. More videos coming y'all's way.